Hello and welcome to The Love Seed with yours truly, Krishan Lampley. On this episode, I'd like to talk about you guys cutting up. Yes, cutting up. And when I say that, I'm referencing social media. So yes, we are quarantined. Yes, we are going through it. Yes, this is rough. This is rough. I mean, I can think about yesterday where people were out and about and doing things they shouldn't have been doing, but I get it. I get it. We're all going crazy. Well, what happens in a time like this is we tend to have our emotions on 10, right? Or we're going through emotions that we never felt before or never paid attention to before because we are stuck. We are stuck in this perpetual stuckness, right? So things are really weird and we're going through it. Instead of our normal outlet, which is going out with our friends, having a glass of wine with our friends, going out to dinner or just releasing and dancing or going to lounges, whatever it, your thing may be, going to the show. Because we don't have that normal release, we're releasing it on social media. But sometimes we're doing too much. I don't want you guys to get so caught up in your emotions on certain things that you're posting things that you may not, you just may, you shouldn't do it, all right? There's certain things you post that you just probably should not be posting. Now, I am not here to be the social media police. I ain't here to be your mama. You could say, Krishan, it's none of your business. I can post what I want to post because it's my page. I get it. I get it. But just think about it. Because we're in this acceleration of emotion, we may be, again, doing too much. There may be certain things that you post on social media that if we were in the old normal, you wouldn't have posted. Or you would have thought about it before you hit post, right? So all I'm saying is think about it. Think about that old rule when they say, write things out and then step away and come back to it. And then you look at it and you're like, oh, maybe I should have done that, right? Hey, I've done it. And I'm gonna call him out. One of my best friends, Isaac, years ago, I was going through a bad breakup. I posted something on Facebook. He called me within three minutes and said, Krishan, take that bleep down and take it down now. I did. I listened to him and I thought about it. I'm like, oh, that was too much. That was too much. And there's certain perception that could have been out there for me posting that. That wasn't true, but it just was too much. So all I'm saying is when we get into that new normal, I don't want you guys to get there with any regrets. All right, no regrets. Yes, we all make mistakes. Yes, we all say things we shouldn't have. And again, some people use social media, they can do whatever they want to do. But when it comes to branding, and maybe I'm speaking more about entrepreneurs, but no, I think I'm speaking to corporate folks as well. Um, be careful on what you say on social media because I don't want you guys to regret that. Know that we will get through this. We're all in this together. Please, please, please hang in there. I know we all have had to pivot. We've had to pivot. And I just want you guys to be okay and know everything will be all right. I'm struggling. As a small business, I'm struggling. And actually on this episode, I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask for help. I rarely do this. I probably don't think I've ever done this. But I'm asking for help. I actually started a ifundwomen.com account right down here. So if you log on to this account right here um, and go to LCS, Go to the lifestyle section and go to LCS. Um, that is going to help Love Corkscrew give give back to uh, the people that I employ, the creatives, the ambassadors, me be able to survive. I've had to accept a new normal as well. So I need help too. We all need help personally, friends, family. We all need help in a time like this. 
But again, I want you guys to be able to transition to the new normal and transition knowing that you've done your best and you stay strong. Just stay strong, guys. Know that I love you, I'm here for you, and I ask for help. If you need my help, I'll do what I can and just know we'll get through this, all right? I'll see you guys later. I need a drink. Thank <laughs> you.